So, this is just a small tutorial to show you how to build, how to construct a building and how to raise objects um, without the proper function but with uh, some kind of um, scaffolding like you would build in real life if you want to build a building if you construct a building you always use scaffolding and other um, prefabricated construction work that will be um, deconstructed after the building is finished or um, meanwhile you are building something. So at first you start the architect, architect mod and I've already selected my beam here. I will place one and I will drop to the ground so you, so you can see the beam. This is my uh, common used construction beam, uh, wooden beam. I think it's the most perfect object to construct um, any objects which are lowered lowered into the ground sometimes because they are not sticking to the ground on their own ground level sometimes they are underground if you s present them with a raycast I will show you what I mean. At first I'm going to start hovering again. Here's my beam. And then I will type in my console hashtag uh, select 180 because 180 is my large stone tower. So mod is not on. Uh, turn it on. So here I have it. Uh, this is my large tower I now have. And you all can already see uh, when I turn it around it is not uh, completely over the ground. It's sticking into the ground and you will see when I stick to the to the beam that this is um, that is half having <laughs> a lower ground. So there's the door. If you put it just on the ground, you see it's maybe second and third floor. If I stick it to the beam, you can uh, raise it up and down as you want it to have. Uh, as you can clearly see, there's a door down there, and I turn it around. There's no other door, and uh, when you want to build your tower somewhere maybe uh, then you look for it okay I wanted to place it here then you put a beam right there where the reticle is where the the anchor point is the cursor the yellow little dot in the middle yeah you see okay I want to put my tower here right to the street right to the road then I don't place it yet but I stay there, I stay in this position with my mouse because the yellow dot is already on ground level. So in right in this position, X, Y, Z position, it's zero, zero, zero. So uh, you stay in this position because you want your tower there. Then you type into console uh, what did I do? Select 4, because 4 is the beam in the list. You just put enter. Don't move the mouse. You just say enter. Then you have the beam. Then just don't move the mouse. Just place the beam with V. The button V on your keyboard. Now you have the beam. Don't move the mouse. You go back to your tower. It's... Uh, 180 
and now you see okay it's in the same position but now you have the beam there I can fly around to see it much better and now you can put your tower exactly in this position where you um, first put it so uh, this is a great opportunity to to use um, because then you will clearly see where you want to put it so now I see okay downstairs there's a door I would put it l um, some some kind over ground so that you will have a little step there and then I just place it all right so here's my tower Ex exactly sitting where I want it but it's over ground and then I can go inside I can uh, stick to the beam again so this is important to not ex uh, accidentally delete your um, newly built tower but you want to delete the beam maybe maybe you want to keep the beam because it's in the middle of this tower as a scaffolding for future inside interior wooden construction um, with floors and ladders but I just want to delete it for showcase purpose so I delete it now it's gone architect mode is off, uh, off and then you can see okay I can walk inside the walls are static not dynamic you cannot clip through so yeah here's your tower and now you can build inside with um, stone platforms wooden sta wooden platforms stairs and whatsoever so this is it um, I wanted to show you another thing there's another tower this is um, not this tower I've just built but it's the other tower it's this tower and as you can clearly see it's underground um, you should use the beam again but this time unfortunately um, I forgot to put the description for the interior stuff that um, these objects are not deletable so the tower itself is deletable so if you put it somewhere and you are not satisfied you can still delete delete it so yeah you can place it and then you can see okay I hover over it and push the button G and then it's deleted <laughs> but as you can see this interior stuff is from the tower and I've already built a tower here and it's not deletable so as you can see I will present what I mean so I will now show you that you have to be very careful if you want to build a tower like this a round tower with uh, the interior presented so okay you have another beam I just use this one again and now as you can see if you want to build this tower just look where you want to ha have your windows or in this case your doors there are two doors and you can see if you place them uh, on the beam it will be raised above the floor of the ground floor I will place it one time and then I will show you it's not um, fully built out from the inside so it's just an outside building you can see it is solid yeah because you are able to delete it uh, and now you have the problem that you have to build the interior stuff and the wooden casing and the roof um, itself themselves so you have to add them later actually but we will do it first because it is easier to use so because if you 
want to use the beam to lower uh, to, to higher uh, to to raise it up then you will see you cannot um, use the same technique in this um, chronicle um, way so you cannot build the tower then the inside interior stuff um, this is not so easy if you place the tower you will see the tower will always pop in front of it so you cannot get the same position of the tower so I will delete it if you look closely I will now use the interior this is the interior of the tower this is the um, wooden interior construction with the roof and this is the outside um, scaffolding walkway so you have to build them first so you can see clearly here are the doors on the left side and the right side these are the doors you can see them in the tower here and there downstairs you see and you will build them first so if you are satisfied with your position you can now look around oops put it here maybe see the doors then you will put you see the 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 beam in the background where you where you are sticking on so you see it inside here's the beam in the middle and then you will put the inside first uh, you place it with we button don't move the mouse now you put the roof with the we button don't move the mouse now you put the casing maybe with the mouse not moving and then at the end you will put the tower perfect so as you can see the casing is down there it's not that bad but you will see when you go inside the casing by the way is not solid so you can not really use it uh, anywhere else because you will fall through it so now the tower is built looks okay so far you can now go inside for sh showcase purpose you can see okay everything is fine here and now I will show you you can go there because there is an invisible barrier there is an invisible wall uh, underneath this casing here this terrace and when I go down here um, yeah I break my ankles so yeah that's the, <laughs> the point I want to make it just can get up here again um, the roof is solid no it's not okay I missed that point but it's not that important because you will never be on the roof I think um, only the exterior is fully fleshed out uh, sticking on objects and you will see if you don't use any of the interior stuff you will still be standing on an invisible barrier there yeah okay I show you again I use my my beam I just put another beam here where I want to have the tower Tick. then I take 180 again okay it's the brick tower so the round tower is 176 and I was just show you what I mean you can see I just built the 
exterior tower it's uh, nearly the same and you can see here is the balcony and the balcony itself must be here and it will be invisible it will be invisible and you can still stand on it i will just show you that so here is the balcony as presented in over there uh, it will be here and the balcony itself has no collision so you will if you just use the balcony itself you will clipping through it so most important most important thing is so you can stand up here i think no you can't oh, okay yeah you will fall through this because if you, you, you there's no way to get up there anyway so this is just uh, for decoration purpose you, you will always jump uh, clip through it because there is no collision in this area here you will not be able to stand on this floor you always always uh, fall through it so one important one important thing is um, I know completely broke <laughs> my ankles I don't know why I did I forgot to put my no fall damage mod on but it's not the point the point is if you want to use these building elements be very careful that you build your tower where you want it because you cannot delete these parts you cannot delete these interior parts because they are uh, not um, static they have no oh, they are static but they have no collision so you are able to delete the tower and your beams and whatever but you cannot delete these you will see the 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 object you are using in preview is not um, sticking to any of that yeah because they have no collision points so be very careful if you want to build these towers or in this case only this tower the other tower um, I left the interior parts uh, out of the mod because they are not deletable anyway so I just kept these parts in if you want to use them be very careful you cannot delete them so save before using um, an updated version of the mod I will uh, have the description underneath the objects because I forgot them in this case for the tower so just for the tutorial version I wanted to give you this little advice you are not to able to delete them so be very careful so yeah I'm going to start bleeding hard so I will stop this video in this case stay tuned for another video